Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn at Chameleon Live. I'm just going to make sure I've got everything I need here. Just going to wait for a few moments, see who joins us this morning. I have my coffee. So I've got one person so far. Hello, whoever you are. So um, three. Hello, Shona. Good morning. How is it over in Ayrshire today? It's beautiful here. It's very, very still. You can hear like, well, nothing actually. The sea's not even moving this morning. I hope you've all got your coffee or your espresso martini or whatever some of you are having at this hour on Saturday. I've got lots of lovely colours around me, so I will talk you through what I'm going to do shortly. Um, Heather Cameron. Hello, Heather, with coffee. Yep. Kendra. <laughs> That's all right, Kendra. You haven't missed anything. I've barely started. Morning, Sue. Yep. Jean. Hi, Jeannie. Remind me at the end. I'll give you another wee look out the, um, out the door. We had the most amazing... Um, fog this morning i don't know i mean on the edinburgh coast i know it's a common thing you have a sea har we don't often get it here on the west coast but it, it rolled in last night and it was really weird to watch and then when we got up this morning we had this like little sort of misty har across the bay and in lamb lash bay when i came in so it's gone now and it's clearing but it is beautifully warm hello susan in motherwell and Alison, hello in Glenrothes. Trying to be sunny, yep. Yeah. Jenny McIntosh from Perthshire. This is great. Thank you, everyone. Hello, Jan. You're just over the hill in Brodick. And Jean in Whiting Bay, my home village. Another lovely day. It certainly is. Once we've all shopped and chatted, I'm sure we'll be out on our daily walk. Hi, Janie. Morning. And Pamela from Edinburgh, thank you, hello. Shona Rodkin, hello Shona, how are you doing today? Uh, Fiona, Aaron looks nice today. Yeah, Fiona, if I recall you're in Troon, so you've got a nice view back over to Aaron. And Kendra, yeah, Pam, hello Pam. Pam's over in Brodick as well, I think. So there's my mum, <laughs> hello mum, morning. She's a big fan of some of the things that I'm gonna show you this morning, so. Um, that's great. We'll get we'll get going shortly. How's your week been? Hi, Jean. Nice to see you in Troon. How's everybody's week been? Are you getting fed up with this ongoing lockdown, or are you beginning to see a wee light in the tunnel, or are you finding new ways of doing things? How's your fashion? What are you wearing this week? That's what I want to know. That's what we all want to know. Please tell everyone. So you'll either guilt everybody into feeling like they have to make more effort or we're all just still spending a lot of time in our lycra. Um, I can't wait for Aaron Active to reopen at some point because my lycra is beginning to look a bit threadbare. I don't know about all of you, but even your leisure wear is starting to get overused. Hello, Adele. Good morning. Adele's got a big birthday, I wouldn't say what it is, but Adele's got a big birthday this weekend, so um, I look forward to seeing you later, Adele, on our virtual dinner party that we're going to have. If many of you done that, it should be hilarious. God knows if it'll work. We're doing a little FaceTime dinner. And Jean, you're wearing a chameleon outfit. Excellent, that's what I like to hear. So um, I'll just scroll and make sure I don't miss anyone. We've got 26 at the moment, so I'll just... Um, I really will try and keep up with all my comments. Everybody's saying good morning. So morning, Laura in Glasgow. And as always with my rambles, if I forget something or if you want to know more information about something, just keep hollering on and somebody will point it out to me. Love my lockdown lycra. Yeah, I know you get kind of used to it, don't you? I have to say, although... When I do my Wednesday wardrobe and then my Saturday live, it gives me a great excuse to put on other clothes, which I have to say I quite enjoy. Um, Sue, you're wearing a tie-dye effect, long tunic top with cold shoulders. Excellent. <laughs> so um, 
I'm going to talk to you this morning. Well, first of all, welcome properly, everybody, to um, Saturday Live, 9th of May. I've got my coffee. It's, I never drink the whole thing, but um, I will I will attempt to have a little bit now. Um, Colin has joined us. I'm here on my own, as always, except for Colin, who is looking a bit odd at the moment, for those of you that might be able to spot him. Colin Chameleon is doing a bit of climbing in the back somewhere. Um, so he's joined us. Morning, Nanette. Um, so what I thought we would do was um, a whole piece on Two Danes. So Two Danes is a Danish brand, surprise, surprise, and it's a fantastic brand. It actually um, has been with me for a while. I seem to say the same thing every week, but it really is. Two Danes, Marble, and um, who's my other one? Two Danes and Marble um, are my top sellers in the shop generally every season. Um, so they, they are really great. Two, um, Two Danes is uh, a family-owned business in, um, in Denmark. They have been around for some time and they specialize in natural fabrics. So hemp, linen, cotton and bamboo. So all of their fabrics are all those, um, either a, a, a composition of those, like they might put cotton with hemp or they might put the bamboo with elastane. And I'll talk you through that, but they are all incredibly comfortable to wear and a real favorite. I've got one on this morning, which is cotton, and I will get to that in the selection. So I'll talk about that when I, when I come to it. Um, Two Danes is um, bright and colorful, and it's also got a good selection of kind of neutrals. It's a great brand for layering, for those of you that like that. Now, although a lot of their shapes are quite loose fitting, they do have shape. So you'll find that um, they're not kind of, I don't know, they're not kind of like oversized and make you look huge, depending on what uh, size you go for. And this is a bit difficult for me to put it all on the website. I've tried as much as I can to describe the top. I've put the sizing in, which for those of you that have been looking at the website, I have to put it into traditional sizing, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So some of the brandings are small, medium, like the actual labels on the garment. So I've explained a little bit about that, but if you get confused and you're not really not sure, then you know how to how to get hold of me. Um, so um, did anybody tune in to um, the Wednesday wardrobe this week, which was actually hilarious. It took us the best part of the whole day. Um, Richard was experimenting with his tripod and camera gadgets and you would not believe the amount of activity going on outside our house it, with the farmers going past and then people walking and then people going shopping and then deliveries for various houses. So it's not until you actually want everything to be totally quiet, you realize how many people are moving about. Um, however, I featured dresses, some were not that great on me, but you've only got me because I can't show you them on anyone else at the moment. So you just have to use your imagination. Two of those dresses were from Two Danes, and I'm going to start with those um, just to sh remind you, really, um, as it's part of the same collection. I had a very long pink one. Um, it's not this one behind me, by the way. That's a tunic, which I'll come to. Um, so I will, I will talk you through it. I've got ten styles along this rail to show you. Some are in different colours, so it looks a lot there, but actually, it's just the ten different styles or shapes, and then. Um, I've got the dresses as well, which I'm going to start with. Um, we have been quite busy this week between that and then we have put more things on the website. We're now up at 200 styles on the website. So there's a lot there to look at. So please, um, please do have a good rummage around. Um, Wednesday wardrobe was great. Well, thanks. We thought we, <laughs> we thought we'd just do something different because even I'm fed up with the inside of my shop because it's not like how it normally feels. But sometimes it's okay to do it when the weather's fine and sometimes it's just not very practical. Um, I might well do something on the beach um, when we're allowed a little bit more movement um, and, and see where we go. Anyway, I'm gonna put my stool back, as I do, and then I'm gonna step back and um, just remind you. So, the two dresses to just remind you of. Now, Two Danes has names. So they're one of the brands that name their garments a particular name. So I'll tell you what they are. This is the Hiro or Hero. It's spelled H-I-R-O. Now this one is this lovely pink one you'll have seen me wearing. It's actually not a dress for me personally because I'm really a bit wee to wear such a long dress and such a, a sort of loose fit dress. But it's fabulous if you're taller and you've got a broader shoulders. The, the sleeves 
are really loose and casual and it's just got that wee v-neck there and the back is very simple just a straight seam down the back it's actually it's really beautiful dress and what a fabulous color there's a lot of this pink coming through as you'll see um, here but i thought i would just point that one out to you um because it is just even though i had it on it's good to see it this one's hemp and cotton okay so it keeps you cool so that's that one and that's it just a wee bit closer up okay so that's the small now as i said on my wednesday wardrobe the small is really quite big so um you'll find that you even if you're a kind of size 16 to 18 that that will be fine um so anyway just thought I'd good for lounging about um good for maybe a summer barbecue if you're in the garden um so it's that kind of casual dress the other one that i showed you that i had on was this blue which is the fabulous blue color and this one again is um i think this one's cotton all the information is on the website but it is worth telling you yeah linen and cotton actually so this is a combination of their linen and cotton shorter sleeve bit more shape so it's not got that whole voluminous sort of feel to it it's basically about knee length and um, you can almost wear it as a tunic if you're tall so it's got a wee sort of v here and again the sleeve is about um, just before the elbow okay so a lovely dress and um, if I just pull it back you'll see okay and um, this one has also got a pleat on the back by the way so it's got some nice detailing and just again very simple to wear pop that on with a pair of leggings or just on their own on your own without trousers or leggings you'd be fine um, just catching up yes the Scandinavian things so had it not been for the COVID-19, I was saying to Richard last night, how funny, we were planning a trip to Copenhagen and to go to some of the fashion fairs there because I love that type of dressing and it would just introduce something different to the shop. And, uh, and now I can't go. So um, that's just the way it goes. We just have to wait until we can move about a bit more uh, and go to Copenhagen. So um, on to the tops. So the first one I wanted to show you was this one. Now this is called Blakely, okay, Blakely. This is made of their bamboo and elastane, really, really soft. I'll come in a little bit. By the way, for all of these, I've also put the length on the description from the nape of the neck at the back to the hem. So for those of you that get concerned about how long things are on you, I've I've measured them all in inches, so if you go and have a look, you'll find them. This one's got a slit at the side, both sides, and it's got a very lovely rose pink and white stripe on one side and a plain pink on the other. The sleeve is, is um, quite generous, but it's a kind of drop sleeve. So again, that would be on me, just short of the elbow. It is quite a short one, so for those of you that um, are either sh more short-waisted or just prefer something shorter then this might be um, I think out of all of them this is probably the shortest one and the back the stripe carries through to the reverse so it just takes what looks like a fairly basic t-shirt and um, it's really not a t-shirt it's beautiful but I cannot tell you if for those of you that have not had two Danes before I cannot tell you the quality is incredible and um, it just washes and washes and it's absolutely my favourite. It's very, very soft. Um, bamboo is really making quite a um, quite a thing in clothing, and there's a company that does bamboo. Well, there's lots of companies now doing bamboo socks and all sorts of things. So if you take that to your clothing, it's also because natural. It's really good. Um, doesn't make you over hot, and uh, keeps you nice and cool as well. So that's that colour. I've also got it in this colour, which is I would call a kind of stone colour. So again, I'll come in a wee bit closer. So you've got the neutrals. So if you like a neutral palette, then that's the one to go for. And again, that's the back there. Okay, so that's those two there. So that one is called, just to remind you, the Blake, Blakely, B-L-A-K-E-L-Y. I would recommend with sizing on this one, although it's a loose fit, it's quite square. Uh, so you want that to keep the shape otherwise it'll be not it would hang properly so with that one I would probably recommend staying um, with the size that you think you are and um, with these rather than going down a size uh, just because of its length and yeah you just don't want it all clinging in the wrong places so that's that one okay the second one 
I'll show you the pink one, but I have got it in navy. It's just navy is quite difficult to see on camera. So this one's called Beatricia. So again, it's a plain pink with a shorter sleeve. It doesn't have any slits at the side. And it's beautifully shaped again. As you can see, it's just got that lovely kind of movement to it. It's not clingy, but it's not oversized either. But it's, it, it, I can't tell you how nice it is. This one um, is, I think, the, the least expensive of them all at 39. Um, again, everything I'm showing you today, there's nothing over 100. I think there's one item at 72, which is the most expensive. But the rest are kind of in between. So I, I can't, they're just fabulous. And every year I pick up a couple of things for myself when I'm doing my ordering and they just wear and wear. Great for layering. I think someone said it might, Linda, I think you did this sort of lag and look, which is German for, for layering. Um, so um, yeah, very good for that. So that's that one. And I have it in the Navy. This again is the bamboo and uh, elastin, I think I'm just gonna check. Um, yeah, bamboo, elastin, and cotton. So it's the it's the three fabrics. So it's just got a little bit of stretch to make it hang, um, but really gorgeous. So that's the pink and the navy, dark navy. So that is that one. Now, okay. So I know they all seem quite plain, and they are. I mean, two Danes do have some prints, but most of the time it is um, much plainer fabric. What I've got on is a pinstripe, and we'll, we'll talk about that. There's some other things that um, I can show you, but we'll go and do this lot first and see where we get to in the day. Thank you, Sue. The necklace. <laughs> yeah, it's here. It's, it's in the shop. I don't think it's online yet, but if anyone wants it, I think I've got one, and this is it. So you have to be quick and phone me up. Um, hello Dorothy, over in Brodick as well. So here we go. So this one, right, so this is called the Blida, B-L-I-D-A-H. It's a beautiful blue. They're just calling this one light blue. It really is lovely. It's got a slightly longer sleeve than the other tops I've shown you. So this will take you right to your elbow for those of you that don't like to show the tops of your arms. This has got a very interesting shape. It's very slightly shorter at the front than the back, as you can see, and it's got a swing to it, very plain. And if I just show you how that moves, you'll be able to see it swings. So that would sit on your bust and then just sort of drop loosely over. So it's probably, I would say, it, I wouldn't say that if you have a bigger bust, you can't wear it, but you don't want it hanging off. So you probably want to just have a nice sort of straight look with that. So if you are bigger busted, you might not want to look at that one because I think sometimes that can be the wrong look. Hello, Kate. Kate's in Spain. And Dorothy made it this time. Hello, Kate, how is it in Spain? You're my furthest customer this morning. <laughs> so that's it in the blue. And um, as I say, it's, it's very plain on the back. I have it in um, the blue and uh, it's not navy, it's this fabulous aqua color. You'll have seen me talk a lot about aqua. It seems to be a color very much in this season. When I look around the shop, there's quite a lot of it. Um, I've featured it in previous videos as well. There's slightly different tones of it. Marble's got a lovely range, and so has Yes. So um, if you're liking that sort of um, color, it, it's, it's really lovely. So it, this one, as I say, has got the sort of broader neck, the sleeve, as I say, to the elbow, and then that kind of like A shape. But it's really nice, it looks great just worn with white, or with jeans um, and just really two very nice colors okay so that's called the the Belida B-L-I-D-A-H okay so that's those two I think they're great for this time of year I'm just going to quickly grab a coffee and have a wee snip sip I should say details of the necklace okay so hello Elaine morning <laughs> right so where have we got to? So one, two, three, the next pair, if you like. Um, so this is moving away a little bit from the cotton and the bamboo to the hemp. A beautiful soft fabric. It's not at all harsh. So hemp and cotton, this one. I think some people think that hemp and you suddenly, suddenly think of those awful rough bags that you put your potatoes in or something. It's not like that. It's really, really soft. So to wear, it's a very nice, and it doesn't crease, a very nice fabric that doesn't crease. I'm going to show you it in pink because it's a bit easier to, for you to see. So that's it in the pink. Again, a lovely shape. 
It's got a little sleeve, little cap sleeve, and very simple. And again, worn with a statement piece of jewellery um, or a wee scarf. You know what I like about my scarves, ladies? Then this might be a nice one. Plain at the back, again. Okay. I love their logo. Their logo is a tree. So um, it's just a mindful that the environment and, well, I think it is. I'm making that up, actually, if I'm honest. But I would imagine it is because they go for natural. They're natural fabrics. So that's that's that one. So I've got that one in the pink. And then in, for those of you that like a darker color, that's just in plain navy. You can layer any of these as well. I think they're really good for that. So we're popping in a long sleeve underneath them or a wee cardi over the top. Perfect. Very simple. I think that's why I like the Danish fashions because, or the Danish labels, because they um, they just transition so easily across the seasons. And as I said to you before, I mean, I go to my wardrobe and I just dress for colour because that's what I, I kind of do. So my wardrobe is hung in colours because I think, well, do I feel like wearing navy or pink or, you know, sand colour or whatever? So that's the way I organise it. But by doing that, you can just go to get complimentary things um, and it makes it really easy. So there you go. I guess that's why I have my own shop because I love doing that kind of thing. So that's that. The next one I want to show you, the next pairing, I will show you the different colour. How fabulous is that colour? They call it cornflower blue. Really beautiful. Now this one is called the Heidi. H-E-I-D-E. -E, cornflower blue. This one comes, or rather is made, let's just double check. Hemp and cotton. So again, it's the same sort of fabric. If you recall the bleeder, it's the same fab um, um, shape as that. So it's got the sleeve to the elbow. It's just a different, a different um, fabric. So there, there's the bleeder, which I showed you in the cotton, uh, in the yeah, in the cotton and elastic and bamboo, I should say. And then this is the same shape with the scoop neck, the sleeve to the elbow, slightly shorter front, and the longer back. This, however, the difference has got a pleat at the back, so that just makes it a little bit more interesting at the back than the bleeder but other than that it's a similar shape really lovely and I have that one this has got slits as well at the side so it's not one for tucking in it's definitely worn loosely over things this one um, as I say is called the Heidi and I have it in the cornflower blue and this fabulous bright pink I think they're calling it rose bright pink no they're calling it bright pink so okay so that's those two really really lovely okay so something a wee bit different coming out i'll just quickly check on any incomings you're all chatting to each other hi fiona no problem welcome <laughs> new idea yeah i love doing stuff like that don't you do that is it just me i organize my wardrobe every season i take out everything i'm not wearing or i put it away and then i organize it by color so the next time you've got absolutely nothing to do and it's pouring with rain um then then you could do that <laughs> right so the next pair i have and uh, i shall show so this color is called paprika it looks fabulous on people who have got a kind of olive skin complexion so it's not a color i personally wear but for those of you that are darker in coloring and hair this is a fabulous color you can wear this open as you can see it's a short little top it's got buttons down the front and it's got a long sleeve which is about a three-quarter length so that one that one i think if i just put there yeah so it's just to above the wrist it really is very nice again this is hemp and cotton the buttons all undo so i wouldn't do it right now but they take it take my word they do undo very easily through a wee button hole so you can wear that either closed like that with a scarf or you can wear it open as a wee cardigan so you've got a couple of different looks uh, this also has a wee slit at the side okay and the back is very plain I've got that in two colours, so this is the paprika, and then I have it in this fabulous blue. So they call this blue sailor, sailor blue, whatever that means, but there you go. So that's it in the blue. I hope you can see that colour okay. Again, these are um, relatively short tops. For, for those of you that are um, shorter, um, you might like those, although don't be put off by that if you are taller. It's just 
pointing that out because some people find it very difficult to get things that are the right length so it's good for me to just point out um, how you can wear that so that's those two um, a personal favorite coming up of the next one I have this one and I got it last year actually um, and I've ordered it again uh, breaking my own rules but not everybody had the opportunity to buy it last year I don't tend to carry a huge amount of to Dane's stock at the moment, obviously. Um, so with this one, it is quite generous in sizing. And I think I've said on the website, you can consider dropping a size. They've sized this kind of small, medium, large, and I forced it into the 10, 12, 14 kind of areas. But you can see it's quite generous. Two pockets at the front, uh, a nice scoop neck, and also just to make it even nicer, they put that lovely pleat down the back. The sleeve, again, quite a wide sleeve, but not one that's going to catch on the door handles. It's not one of those. But basically, again, that would be to just, on me, just above the wrist. So this is really nice. Um, they call this one the, the Haim, or Haim, A, it's called, bleh, get my teeth in, H-A-I-A-M, the Haim. Uh, very nice. And I, as I say, I had this last summer, and I personally had it. I wore it again this week when I was um, uh, going to the co-op because that's the only chance you get to dress when you go to the co-op. That was my excursion. Anyway, so um, I wore it then and actually it's just really, it reminded me of how nice it is. It was, I can thoroughly recommend that one personally. I've got it in two colours, the stone colour and again the paprika. Okay, so those two colours, really nice. Okay, put them to the side. Just check on any messages. Oh, hello, Rosemary. No problem, you're welcome. You can always go back and watch me on playback. So if you haven't got anything better to do, but it will be fun. Okay, so, um, ah, so I'm gonna talk to you about the one I've got on now. Um, so this is called the Caitlin, C-A-I-T-L-Y-N. This is 100% cotton. So I'm gonna put it here and then just talk you through it because I'm wearing it. So. As you can see, it's really quite generous in its shape. I'm gonna step back. I've just teamed it up with some navy leggings or kind of slightly more of, the, more of a trouser than a legging. Um, it's got this fabulous broad band here, so like a dropped waist, although it's kind of, depending on your height, of course, this is at my waist, but it's really cool to wear. It's got no um, sleeve, so it's just like a tote, one seam all the way down, so it doesn't have a fixed sleeve um, at the shoulder and it's got a lovely button fastening just at the neck so I'll show you on this one here we are so it's just got a little button one button at the back it's a navy and white pinstripe very very subtle um, it's cotton as I say 100% cotton and easily just easy to wear I mean if you're having a fat day girls our ladies and we've all eaten too much or had too much wine or you still want to look nice this is the one for you it's really nice, it's got slits as well at the side. Okay, so um, that's nice, you can layer it. And you can just really wear it with anything. I, I love it, I think it's, it's my first thing I've um, put on this year from, from two days from this season's collections. And I really like it. And it's got a nice broad bit at the elbow, like a hem here as well. So if you, on, this, on the sizing on this, again, I've written on the website what I advise. Um, it's quite difficult trying to explain what sizes things go up to when they're kind of forcing you into to choosing the size. But I just call me. I mean, I'm usually about a size 12, sometimes a 14, depending, as we all know, on the brands and the styles. But this will easily fit up to a 16. And this is the small medium. Uh, so um, I think that's a small medium. I'm going to check. I've got, yeah, this is labeled small medium. So. There, I don't think there's anything smaller than this. I think there's this size and then the bigger one. So again, if you're a size eight or 10, you might find this just too big. Um, so just don't buy this one. But anyone else, um, you should fit into one of those two sizes. But there, it's really nice. So that's the Catlin. The next pair I have um, is this one. I'm gonna show you in white first. I've also got it in this fabulous aqua color. This is again 100% cotton. I'm just going to check that I'm right, but I'm almost sure. Yeah, 100% cotton. And uh, dear, I mentioned that I have it from last year when I had it in grey. 
um, which I know is a kind of strange color, but it's actually a really lovely color to have in the wardrobe and I've layered it. This one has got two panels. So again, it's quite generous in sizing, much similar to this. It doesn't have the big weave, but it's got the panel front here and also on the back, it has a panel front. It's also got a very broad um, sleeve. So for those of you that have got a bigger arm, it's not too bad. Now it doesn't have stretch in it, this one, because it doesn't contain elastane. It, it literally is 100% cotton. So although it's soft, um, you do want to think about that. And it is very generous. I mean, again, this is probably the small medium. Yeah, so that's the small medium. And I'll go back a little bit. Remember, I'm only five foot two, but that's gonna be just covering, just at my bottom probably. And I've got it in this lovely, lovely aqua green as well. It really is beautiful. So that's those two. I don't think I can tell you anything else about those. I'm leaving all the prices and things only because I don't want to go on and repeat and get it wrong um, because it's all on the website. So as long as you remember the name, that's the main thing you'll get there, Greta. But if you go to the Two Danes drop down on the website, then you'll see them all there. Okay. So the final piece in this particular selection, depending on how we go with time, is a tunic style. Now, two Danes have lovely tunics, and um, I've got a couple at the moment. Uh, this one, and this one, which is shown on Jenny, my mannequin, who also has a name. Um, so it's in that lovely pink, and it's in this lovely aqua green as well. I think they call this, actually, they call it Lagoon, but I'm just calling it aqua because it sort of falls into that palette. This is made from the bamboo and cotton and elastane fabric. So that really soft one that we started off at the beginning with. So again, I think this measures something like 34 or 35 at the back. Um, so it's a long tunic. It's got a beautiful shape. I'm going to go back. So on me, that would just be at my knee. And it's got two side pockets. So really nice here. Two side pockets. And there's two... Um, I think there's two size profiles on those. So there's the green or aqua and then this lovely pink. But it is lovely and it's got a nice seam that comes from here, from the shoulder. So if you just imagine, rather than it being too square, it's got a seam from the shoulder all the way down here, which gives you that lovely shape, that sort of nice sh um, shape that goes like that. So it's despite its shape style-wise being very loose, it does have a shape to it. So you're not gonna look oversized in it, that's for sure. So that's in the lovely green um, and then this, this pink here. So that is the selection of two Danes. I am just going to grab, uh, they're not on the website yet, but I'm just gonna show you a couple of things before we go. And then I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, hold on ladies, I'm just gonna get it. Okay, so the final couple, which um, I just wanted to point out, as I say, uh, I will put them on the website later today, they're just not up there, but this is called the Gillian. Now the Gil or Gillian, I don't know which way, Gillian or Gillian, but anyway, this one is, um, it's actually size small, medium. I think I've got four of them. They're basically for anyone. I would actually have put them at a one size, to be honest, but they're just like a big cardigan. And you just, I'm just gonna pop it on and show you. I've just got one color, it is just gray. And it's got that lovely pleating here. And it's got a tie front, which you can neither tie or otherwise. So that you've got that, that look. It's really very nice. And you can just pop that over anything, particularly at this time of year, when it might still be a bit chilly in the evening, if you're out in your garden, that's the back. I don't know if you can see, grey is a funny colour to show on the camera, but I thought I would just point that one out. And then the other one, that one, by the way, I think is cotton as well, 100% cotton. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, 100% cotton. And then I talked a little bit about prints. So they don't do a lot of prints. Most of them are quite plain. But we've got this fabulous print here, which is um, a not, a not kind of A-shape, but it's got pockets. It's got hidden panel for the buttons. And it's a check in a very lovely blue, sort of navy and a kind of royal blue. 
And again, it's short, so you can wear that open or you can wear that closed as shown. Very nice detailing at the back as well, just a very nice um, fabric. I think this one, just double check, it's also 100% cotton. So again, if you are a fan of all those natural um, fibres, then Two Danes is definitely the brand to be looking for. So there's that one. So that's just the last couple to just pop in at the end there. I'll put those up on the on the website shortly. I'm just going to check for any messages and make sure I have answered everything. Thank you, Alison. Loved your yes vest. Okay, be young. So I think most of you got what we sent out last week. I made a boo boo with somebody in Edinburgh for which I have apologised, but um, we have rectified that. I sent the wrong sizes. I tell you, ladies, running a website is not easy. <laughs> Even though the shop's not open, it takes a huge amount of effort. And just occasionally, um, then I make a mistake because trying to take the photographs, load all the information up, and then uh, do the picking and the posting, um, sometimes, sometimes even I just crumble at the last moment. So um, I think that's probably all I want to say today to you, ladies. I hope you're you've enjoyed that little um, introduction to Two Danes. But just contact me if there's anything that you would like more information about as i say i don't carry a huge volume of stock of these um but um this what's kendra saying this darned colin's too crafty he's there can you not see him he's very easy to spot he's got very big eyes kendra <laughs> he's somewhere over there anyway um i hope you all have a lovely weekend ladies um do keep in touch as you do i know many of you find this a, a nice thing to look forward to on your saturday morning so have a lovely day and um enjoy tomorrow and i will do another episode of wednesday wardrobe in due course so i hope you can catch up on that and then back here again next saturday and um, there's still lots to show you and i'll continue to load up some more styles but as i say i've got about 200 there at the moment so i um, hope you find something you like and that you enjoy and um I will say cheerio for now. Lots of love. Take care, everybody, and, um, and stay safe. Okay, bye for now. Bye.